This little workshop in Ojo, area of Ibado in Oyo State, is where Tulu Lokwe Olukokun does his engineering works. Tulu Lokwe is a lecturer and also the founder of Think Electric Africa. And one of the projects he's been working on is an affordable alternative ventilator, his own contribution to the fight against COVID-19. Most cities are on partial lockdown. It's no longer business as usual as it is. And uh, as an outgoing person like me, trying to go to one place or the other, trying to, to one place or the other, trying to find ends meet and all of that, being in the house for, for this I mean, time is really not um, not very entertaining and again i recognize that some people are suffering i mean and if this could save their life why not have it according to him with five hours of fabrication and some engineering work here and there he has been able to develop a prototype with shelf materials so many things happening in advanced world in u.s in um, Italy, in Spain, that uh, so many of the ventilators they have in the hospitals couldn't even go around too many patients and uh, they were calling for people that could quickly, you know, have a cheap and affordable, uh, easily assembled ventilator that could keep people alive. I mean, this is used for to force air into patients, patients that cannot breathe on their own due to this uh, kind of uh, uh, virus uh, infection. The ventilator has a switch to power it and a controller to calibrate the breath per minute of a patient. He says it can also be updated with input of a certified medical personnel. It has uh, a three quarter inch pipe, it's a square pipe, and a one inch, uh, one inch square pipe as well that go and slide into each other. The design can also be improved. We have a battery, the 12 volt battery, 7 amp. We have uh, a DC motor and a controller that has been pre-programmed uh, to control the breath per minute of the, of the ventilator. It has, um, it has a switch. You put it on and it starts rolling. Then you can easily adjust the breath per minute I mean, depending on how slow the patient is breathing or how fast. Okay, so, and we have it here. And it just it compresses it. It compresses. So, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale. Excel. So this has been designed in such a way that one size can fit all. Mechanical ventilators are used to support patients with severe respiratory conditions, giving them time to fight off the infection and recover. But with the outbreak of the coronavirus pandemic across the world, there appears to be a shortage of the machine, putting many lives at risk. However, solutions like Tululokwe's could come in handy in this difficult time.